Good morning. I'm just finishing up my run. Uh, I got kind of a late start today. I didn't wake up till almost 6.40. I don't know what happened. I guess I was really tired last night. These workouts have been really getting it. Um, but uh, da, 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 da. as you can see, kind of see, uh, I'm on my cool down lap, lap 10. So it's two and a half miles. Uh, all week long, I've been maintaining that same bit of uh, incline 2%, 5%, 7%, and my sprint laps are 8, 8.2, and 8.5, and then decline 2, 2%, 4%, 6%, 6%, and then a cool down lap at the end at 3 miles an hour just to ease up a little bit because sometimes I don't stretch enough afterwards. I know uh, that kills me, so at least this way I'm kind of forcing myself to walk another quarter mile to relax the legs a little bit. Uh, today, finally, uh, Matt's coming back out. He graduated nursing school. I was glad I could be there for that. It was really awesome of him. Uh, so he's coming out today. We're going to do some more fitting for his armor, finally get him in some, some nice armor. Uh, and uh, he'll be back to being down here for practice and fighting with us. And, I mean, he drives a couple hours, you know. So those people that can't, oh, ugh, I don't know, man. If I gotta drive like 45 minutes to an hour, uh, that's just too much. I, I don't really wanna do it. Okay. I mean, I've had to go more than two hours to find a place. All right, I've driven 14 hours to go to a fight in Florida. I drove, well, almost 22 hours with uh, <laughs> Andrew Dion a couple of years ago to go up to Canada and fight. I mean, you know, if you want something, man, you're gonna do it. Every time you open your mouth and you got an excuse, stop for a second and be like, do I really? Is this really? I know some people, uh, you know, that comes off like being an ass, but you know what? I used to be a super nice guy. Oh, I understand. I care. I mean it. Here, let me help you. And, you know, uh, it took Josh Kearney, of all people, who uh, is a huge internet troll asshole, but he's a great guy. I mean, he just, everybody calls him an asshole, and I call him an asshole, too, because sometimes he calls it like it is, you know, and you need it. At Nationals, he called me out, and uh, you know he was absolutely right. Uh, over the last 12 months, I became a terrible fighter. I like, I did nothing but get worse in a year because I spent all my time, energy, and money helping others. And then now I'm making an excuse. There's no excuse. I was fat, lazy, and a piece of shit, and uh, so I'm fixing that. And that's all I've done since I came back. Uh, you know, and you gotta find it, and you gotta go get it. If you stand there and say, like, oh, my God. Like, you know, we, we've had, like, 20 guys come out to fight practice with us. And they're like, oh, my God, this is all I've ever wanted to do. This is the greatest thing in the world. Where's this been all my life? And then two weeks later, they're gone, and you never see them again. They're like, oh, this is the greatest thing in your life, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'd do anything to be able to do that. Anything. Uh, you won't walk five minutes from your house to come to the training site? Well... Then there you go. It isn't anything you wanted. It's not everything you wanted to do. And then the people that, oh, I don't have money for armor. Uh, I've been offering for almost two years that if you come out to the shop and you work, I'll make your armor for you. You know? Uh, and I've got, you know, the Newmans. They do that now. Kat's an amazing help in my shop. I mean, absolutely amazing. And the only thing she asks for is to help make armor for her husband. You know, Brian comes out there when he can, but he, I mean, he works his ass off too. I mean, the guy works more hours than I do, I think. You know, and he still finds time to come out there. And guess what? He fought, uh, you know, at the, the event in Indiana. And he's going to keep fighting. And he didn't have to pay for all of his armor. They busted their ass and they put in the work. So if you can't afford armor, I offered for a long time. And now I don't feel bad. Not a drop, because it was offered. You know, you, you can't travel. Uh, well, we've got a, they had a team fund for that. And there was one time me and Alicia couldn't go to an event. And we put in $450, even though we couldn't go. And everybody knows I can't afford that. I'm broke as shit. But we put it in to help those that wanted to go. And now almost all of them are gone too. So there's a lot of investments that were made for nothing. So from now on, you make it on your own or you don't make it. I don't care. And now, look, I've been rambling because I got mad already this morning at something stupid on the internet. And, yay, I'm over my distance. That's it. I'll go get cleaned up and I'll 
I'll say something positive and encouraging to end my video. Thanks. All right, so I'm all done, all cleaned up. Um, I'm about to have my oatmeal with milk and a banana uh, for breakfast. <laughs> and um, I took a picture um, in the bathroom. I don't, don't get weird. Okay, uh, in the bathroom on my mirror, uh, so I look at it every morning. I have my weight and my body fat percentage and I've been ticking it off as I go uh, as a reminder that way every morning when I get up and I look in the mirror, I know, you know, where I was, where I am, and sure as hell is not where I need to be. So it's a, it's a reminder every single morning uh, to let me know and to keep me, uh, you know, I can't hide from it. I can't be like, oh, I just won't look over that way or, you know, uh, a lot of excuses can come up when you work out. I know. Uh, I spend a lot of time trying to make excuses for myself because I'm not very good at self-motivating. But um, this is a way of keep keeping myself accountable. Uh, so I, I, I guess I'm doing the videos more for myself uh, than for anybody else. If you get something out of this, that's great. I'm really happy for you. But um, this is more just so I keep beating myself up publicly because uh, I don't care what anybody says in the politically correct world we live in now, but... Public shaming can really help. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure somebody will say something about that. But, you know, without somebody telling you what you're doing wrong, you don't know you're doing it wrong, you know. So uh, and keep it that. Uh, a lot of work still to do. And uh, we'll just keep at it. And thank you for watching if you're watching <laughs> uh, and uh, have a good day uh, and this afternoon is uh, more pell work I think I'm gonna work on the the axe work today uh, with my helmet and then tonight is back to my day one heavy weights so uh, we'll have fun <laughs>